Hello and welcome to this new video and in this I'm going to attempt to do a bit of a speed run at making an AR project and also try and highlight any common mistakes that people uh, could possibly be making. Okay, so before I do get started, before I press the go button, um, it is worth pointing out that I've already created a 3D core project. I've come over into Unity, I've gone to my package manager and I've made sure that I've installed the AR foundation and I'm still using the 5.0.7 so if you're using an older version this probably isn't going to work and the same for the Google AR 5.0.7 now if you don't have these versions available when you just sort of go onto the Unity registry you can just type it in so you can just type the, this text in um, the links are below as well in the description but I can just go and add package by name and type it in and then just put 5.0.7 and then press add, obviously I don't need to because I've already got it and you can do the same for the AR core copying, obviously you can't copy from here but you can copy from my description below uh, so again I can put that in, put in the number in and then press add and then you've got the right versions okay so um, I've also got my audio ready, I've got my mp3s I've got my images, so I've got the inf inf images that will be on my canvas for describing things I've got my tracked images and for now I'm just tracking Earth and Mars as, as before um, and what else have I got? I've got my text ready to go and I've got the two scripts that again you can download from GitHub so I've made sure that I've got everything ready to go to make this work okay so I'm going to start time myself now because I'm going to see how fast I can actually do this so I'm pressing start, yep that's fine uh, I'm now going to come up onto my window XR, XR foundation, XR environment uh, yep I need to do the plugin that's fine, I'm just going to drag that up there. I'm going to go on to my build settings, come down to my player settings, go into XR plugin, and then press XR simulation, I think, for this one. I think that's what I normally do. It's been a while since I last pressed it. This can take a little while, so this is going to eat into the time. Oh, no, as that seems to have done it just fine. Now, a common mistake that I have seen happen quite a few times is the input. If I come to our input settings down here, um, input manager, old. Uh, I generally need both. Now I'm going to pause my timer for this because it's going to cause this to, to reset. So I'm going to press both. Uh, yep, I need to save the changes. So I'm just going to press pause. Okay, so it's just restarted with the with the scenes on there. Uh, sorry, not with the scenes, that's what's in front of me. Um, with the now player active input handling for both. Okay, so I've got this nice little scene ready to go. Uh, if you do not see this, it's probably because you've got the wrong packages installed. I'm going to delete the existing camera, I don't need that. I'm going to go into edit mode, I can't edit because it doesn't let you do the default one. So I'm going to duplicate this, go into scenes, which I'm going to call it AR scene. I've already got that, no that's fine. Um, there we go, I'm going to delete the simulator tracked image. Uh, I'm going to add, now this is a bit where I'm just speeding things up. Unlike previous ones, I used to do the empty. In fact, I'm not, I'm just going to go straight in for creating a quad. So I've got the quad, that's where my first image is going to go. Assets, images, tracked images, I'm going to drag the earth onto this quad. So I can now see that's the earth, but that is not the tracked image itself. And I now want the simulated tracked image. And that's where I can now drag Earth on again. Uh, I'm just going to change, I think that might be alright, but I'm just going to change to point 0.1. Uh, no good reason, I've just found that kind of works through trial and error. And I can just scale that down a little bit. Um, by not doing the empty means if I move this round, I am moving around the actual quad. Whereas before with the empty, with the image as a child, it sometimes would separate it and that would cause tracking problems. So I've got the, I've got that now, I can just duplicate. Um, I suppose I could rename this very quickly. This is eating into my time a little bit. Okay, got Mars, Earth, so I'm going to go on to Mer Earth, Mars 1, Mars uh, there. So I can now move that over, so I've got Earth and Mars. I could do the background as well, so I'm just going to very quickly add another quad. So 3D object, uh, quad, I'm going to drag the solar system onto there. I'm not bothered about this being a tracked image, it's just where I can sort of scale these a little bit. Uh, I'll try and make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to delete the floor. I don't need that anymore. Get rid. Um, so if I just move this running, so I'm just setting my scene a little bit. Um, I might want to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to try and just get close to the right size. I'm not going to go to town on this just because of timing. But if I now push this, so it's just behind it, uh, I don't have to align it perfectly, but it should 
oops, clicked the wrong bit there. It should give me the right alignment, but without being able to see it. Okay, so I've now got my planets, my big picture, and I've got my little pictures for tracking. So I can come out of the edit mode. Um, so what I'm going to do now is right click XR, um, XR session, right click XR uh, origin. I'm going to press play. Now this is just a quick test now. If I press play on this, it should hopefully uh, take a while to compile because it slows down having OBS recording. What I'm interested in is this XR origin trackables, right? It's not tracking anything just yet. That's fine because I forgot to add the image image track tracked sorry AR tracked image manager now this needs the reference library so I'm going to create um, I'll come back out into main assets I'm going to create a XR oh where's it gone to it was right at the very top sometimes I seem to go blind to these things XR uh, reference image library I'll just leave that as that name I'm going to add image add image so I'm going to go into my images. Oh, this is the problem with having these um, having it in separate subfolders. I'll just press select instead, and I want to choose my Mars. Yep, that'll do. And say keep text runtime, and I want to find the Earth. I want to make sure I get the right Earth. I'm fairly sure I did a, there we go with a capital E. So um, it's, again, it has to be the exact same images as what I was in the scene with the exact same names. Although that just say with a little e. I'm gonna have to fix that in a moment. Okay, so now I'm just gonna press play and see if it's tracking. Okay, I forgot to still add it, didn't I? Back on there, I need to drag the reference library on. Uh, so I can, oops, I forgot to press stop, which means it doesn't save any changes. Again, it's a common mistake. Let's have a look. Okay, I did cheat a little bit, it wasn't tracking, so I've just pulled the images in front of the canvas, and plus I was moving the wrong camera. But we can see it is picking both of them up, so we know that it it is actually um, it has seen those images. Okay, I'll leave those in front for the moment. So we've got the XR origin, we've got the reference image tracker. Uh, so now I'm going to go into my scripts. I'm going to drag on my XR origin. I'm going to put the, oops, I'm going to drag the image tracker across. I'm going to drag my AR UI across. If you want more details of these, they're in the previous videos. Um, so on the image tracker, I've got the prefabs wanting to look for. I've also got the info text box. Now, which I don't think I need anymore. No, I don't. I'm surprised I've still got that. Must be a slightly older version. Um, and I've got my info text, which is where the information is going to go for each one, where my MP3 is going to go, and then if I want to create a little image slideshow as well on the canvas. Uh, and of course, I need the links to the other bits. So, what I'm going to create now is the canvas. So, UI canvas. Um, if I just go right click, I'm going to have the UI uh, text box. So if I just zoom out a little bit, okay, um, it's not, is it working for us? There we go. Okay, so it is working just there a little bit. Can't see the writing right now. Now if you can't get to the scene view, then what you're going to have to do unfortunately is do it in the game view, uh, which we should be able to start seeing. So if I just put title, oh. That's why I can't see it's waiting for me to press import TMP essentials. I need to import, I'm not bothered about the examples. Don't need that either. Okay, so it's the wrong way around at the moment. So there we go. So again, if you cannot for some reason come to the scene view, which I know some versions of Unity doesn't let you, you can at least do it in this version and you can just use the sliders to move it around. Now what I'm going to do is obviously because I can, I'm just going to drag it to the top, there's my title. Uh, I'm going to lock it to the top center. So no matter what I do with the camera view, it should stay proportional to that top bit itself. Uh, I'm now going to add a text box. So you are another text box, sorry. So this is where my information is going to go. Oops, I'm just going to make that fully wide. Again, I'm going to lock that sort of, I'm going to lock that to the left. I'm going to have another uh, UI object. This is going to be my raw image. And this is so, if I want to, I can um, I can put an image there instead. 
So if you want to put some visual information, uh, so that's where my canvas is going to go. And then I'm going to add a button. Where's my button? There it is. Keep going blind to these things. So again, I'm going to click on the raw image. I'm going to lock that to also to the left. I'm going to lock the button uh, to the bottom centre. And again, you might just want to play about with these things. I'm just going to slide these round, make sure it's kind of... Okay, it's going to squish that a little bit. Uh, but again, you can play with those. Okay, so now back on my XR Origin script, I've got the canvas. So I'm going to drag the canvas over. Info box, that's where this information is going to go. Um, but do I need a raw image? Yep, there we go. So now we've got that to go on. Um, info text. So I know I'm going to click on a few things. Uh, I've already prepared it in a text file. So I'm just going to drag these on against like in the previous video. Okay, not very exciting to watch this. Maybe I could have paused the video. Um, and because I want three things per video, um, I'm just going to make sure that's intact. Okay, so I've got the text there now. Now for the audio, again, I'm going to add, I'm going to just add these on. So assets, audio, I've only got the five sounds, that's fine for the moment. So I'm going to drag the audio across, making sure that you know, the, the Earth Zero mixes in with the, the right sound, so they are relative. Oops, I missed. Again, not very exciting to watch. Oops, oh, mis misclicked there. See, this is where sometimes the mistakes happen, it's when the accidental clicking. Okay, I've got the sound set up and the image list. Now I've also, like I said, I've, got, I've created the slideshow, which I believe I've showed in a previous video. Uh, if not, then maybe I should, but this is gonna allow slides to go through. So again, I've got images, Info images, click back on there, and now I can put again my earth. I'm mostly harmless. Um, in fact, did I do it the other way around? I can't remember. I mean, it doesn't really matter because um, obviously, this is not a real product, this is just showing the process. And again, I can put Mars in there. Um, I think that's all I've got for now. It'll do. It's just to show an example, anyway. Okay, so that's now all set up. What time are we on? Ooh, six minutes. I was up to try and do it in less than ten. So what I've not 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 got right now is anything to click on. So if I come back into my XR environment, what I want to do is I'm going to go into edit mode just so I can add some prefabs. I'm going to right click 3D object. I'm going to use a sphere. Uh, I'm going to shrink this down. I think I found point. That, that messed up then. I think I found point three. Sort of works. No. Yeah. Let's unlock that scale. That's me being again clumsy clicking. So I've got a simple sphere. I'm going to drag the earth texture on. Um, what was my tracking image called? My tracking image was called Earth with a capital E, so this is important. So if I click back on my Earth, uh, I'm going to make sure I call this Earth. I'm going to tag it. So add a tag. I'm going to call it, again, Earth. Uh, I've got to go back on the sphere and make sure I actually add that tag. I need to add it. Well, I've got a sphere collider, that's fine. Um, I want it to be a trigger event, I think. I'm just going to double check the code. Um, hit that. It doesn't really matter actually, as long as I've got the collider on. Okay, so I've got the sphere. I'm now going to drag the sphere down here. So now it knows it's a prefab and I can delete that. Uh, now I don't like those coordinates actually. Uh, I'm going to do that and I'm going to move it up a little bit. In fact, no, I don't need to do that, do I? Um, I'm going to make sure, that, yeah, there's zero. That's fine. So I'm going to drag it over it because that's can also be a problem. If your coordinates are massive, it can sort of be off screen somewhere. So it needs to be centered. Um, okay, so I'm going to do the same again for Mars. Right click, 3D object, sphere. And I'll just call it Mars while it's there. Uh, drag the texture on. Have I got a Mars texture somewhere? I'm sure I have. Yeah, just there. Uh, again, I've not scaled it. Now I'm not going to scale it um, you know, in, in relation to Earth, but I will make it a little bit smaller. Um, okay, so again, that's not quite zero. So I'm just going to say reset. Oh, it's messed my scale up. 0.25, okay, we're still at zero, that's fine. So where's Mars gone to? I think it's inside, isn't it? But again, I'm gonna drag Mars down. So I've now got my prefabs. I can delete these two from the scene, otherwise I'll get confusing later. Um, I can go back into my main thing, back on my XR Origin, and onto my image tracker. It's the image tracker I want, they are prefabs. Yep, there we go, I'm gonna just add the, the prefabs now. So Earth and Mars. So when it sees the image that it's looking for, 
in our library, it'll put those prefabs there. So let's hope that this works and I've not messed up. Okay, so yep, the canvas is hidden as we expected. It's found it's found Mars, so it's already put Mars there. Uh, I'm just going to move around a little bit. Okay, it's not seeing Earth for some reason. Unless it's behind it. Okay, let's go and have a look in our trackables. It's seeing two of them. Uh, it's got the Mars office, but not the Earth. So let's go and see what mistake I may have made. Again, this is going to eat into our time a little bit. Um, so so I'm going to have a very quick glance at our image library. So again, mistakes do happen. Right, there's the mistake. It's called Earth. And of course, I made my prefab Earth with a capital E. So I have to rename one of them. So I'm going to rename the prefab. Now, I have noticed sometimes, even if you rename something in Unity, it doesn't seem to reflect the change. So I've had to like do a, a rename, a rename again, and then rename it back. And then it finally started working. Now, I have got to press play. Stop, stop it. OK, it's still fine. Let's look on our image library so good it has reflected on that now so let's have a quick look again that's another common mistake we can make and it's really hard to spot okay so when we're still not seeing earth this one i have to pause the video and see what the mistake is but then that would be cheating a little bit okay so let's have a look it's still seeing the two images but it's still not tracking earth itself so let's go into the settings let's go through the whole process edit environment uh go on to my earth Tracked image. You see, it's Earth there with a capital E. So, what has gone a little bit wrong? So, obviously, I'm sure if someone watching this has probably already seen the mistake. So, Earth prefab's got a capital E, just well, sorry, the Earth image got a capital E. The picture that we're tracking has a capital E. So, why did it go wrong then? I'm going to put Earth back to a capital E then. Um, I'm going to go back into our reference library. Yeah, why is that just seems a little bit odd? Okay, let's try again. Maybe I just chose the wrong one. So again, I've got to go back into my image, image library. Let's just close that one off. Let's add image. Let's look for it again. Earth with a capital E. There we go, we've got capital E now. Keep it in runtime. So again, these are the common mistakes that can be made that can really slow you down when making these things. There we go. So we can see it's not quite aligned where I want it to be. So I'm going to check my prefabs. I'm going to check that prefab. The prefab, look, it's not actually at zero. So if I just stop playing, I'm going to click on the Earth. I'm going to move these, these values back to zero, and it should overwrite the original. OK, so there we go. And they're about where I want them to be. So if I wanted to, I could play with these positions, and I could make it sort of move Actually, I'd have to do it because it's not in runtime, uh, and it would be an offset automatically. Okay, so if I click it, so it's definitely done something, but not quite. So it's got an error as well. Although that's just no, we don't need that error. So I've got the canvas. Is um, there anything else on there? No, nope, that's object reference not set. Now I'm fairly sure that's in our image tracker. So I'm going to open up the image tracker because I don't use that anymore. I'm just going to get rid um, and see what others that crops up. Is that making a right? That's not. That's fine. It's not causing the errors. I am going to go into my AR UI and just say that if I click on Earth, uh, obviously I changed the name of it, didn't I, to a capital E. Same for Mars. I think that was a. Actually, I didn't tag it, did I? I need to go and tag that. Let's go back into our prefabs. Okay, I have thrown an error. I have to go and fix that as well. Um, so let's just have a quick look. Did I tag these things? So Earth is tagged with a capital E. Mars is not tagged at all, so add tag. Mars, click back on Mars, make sure that's tagged. Um, I think the reason why I've got all, I've, I've sort of wrote quite a few different versions in different projects. I'm just a bit surprised that that through. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those, just comment them out, bad coding, mainly because I replaced it with the AR UI. Okay, save on that. Back into this project, and hopefully. We should be working now. Need oh, <laughs> that should not be going to that to that amount. That's an interesting clock. Early problem this morning. Didn't test it obviously. Okay, so let's click. There we go. The canvas has come up. Uh, the picture hasn't displayed. Though. I'm not sure why the picture's not displayed. And obviously, I've not hooked up the button. 
In fact, since I know my clock's not working, I think I might just stop it and get rid for the moment. Um, okay, we don't need that. I'll, I'll reprogram it later. Okay, so why did, the, why did the pictures not come up? There is no audio source. Again, simple mistake. Let's come back into scenes, XR origin. Let's just compress these down a little bit. Add audio source. Again, quite often Unity is pretty helpful. You know, I see people get get stuck, but what they don't do is read the messages. I know there's a lot of information there, um, but it's just sometimes looking for the keyword. You know, there's no audio source. Now there is. Okay, so hopefully if I press play now, let's try again. Again, I've still not hooked up the button. So there are Zareth, click on Earth. The Earth the there we go. From Seoul. So if I press next, obviously it's not going to work just yet because I've not told it to. So that's fine. So a quick look at the code, make sure I've got the code there. A-R-U-I. Uh, yep, there we go. There's our next button. If you want full explanation of that code, please go and see the video on that. I'll put a link. Um, so I just need to come onto our button, button there, come down to our events, uh, add. I'm going to drag, uh, like I said in previous videos, I need to drag the XR origin, not the script. So I'm dragging the XR origin because that has the script attached to it. A-R-U-I, next info. So now when I press play, hopefully this should now be fully working. So I've got this bit of a tracker going. Press Earth. The Earth, the third rock from the Earth is harmless. Correction, mostly harmless. Okay, there we go. If I click on Mars, oops, we've got a mistake. Tag Earth is not defined. Okay, fine. Let's have a let's go and see what's going on there very quickly. Um, so I have got. So I did make it Earth, and I did make it Mars. Okay, let's have a quick glance. Ah, right, that's why. Um, I need to make them all Earth. Now, again, I could just go Control F, and I could say find them all, and sort of replace in documents. Uh, but let's have a quick glance. See if I can find them the hard way. Same again. Again, watching your spellings, watching your grammar. But either way, you saw it worked, and that has taken, according to OBS, I have been recording for, ooh, 22 minutes, a bit longer than I expected, but I didn't start till about five minutes in. So either way, we can do a full AR project in about 20 minutes, and that is ready to use, ready to go, and now I could spend a few hours polishing this, making a nice UI, making good information, putting some validation in there, so that we can't click outside things. Mars. Mars is up and, and making sure the UI is laid out properly. Uh, it's going out of range because I've put no validation in, but that's what that code says. It does say no validation. So again, that's something for you to have a play with. Okay, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can maybe make the UI look a little bit better. But again, if you found this useful, please do like, subscribe, positive comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.